place <laughs> well popped him. Yeah. Um, just so proud of, of Kendall. Just, you know, leaders, um, real leaders aren't people who talk all the time. They're people who do. And, and Kendall has, has done. He, he has gone out there and, and uh, his last two weekends. I, I don't remember two starts like that um, in a long time, really, by, by anybody um, that, that I've that has played for me. Um, so just proud of that. You know, the, the stats just speak for themselves. I know you guys already know it, but, you know, I'm talking about 18 ground balls, you know, about three double plays. He only got to a three-ball count three times in the entire ball game, and he walks two, and, you know, some of those pitches were pretty darn good pitches uh, on walks. So um, you just can't say enough. He put our whole club on their back. We, we knew scoring runs today was going to be difficult, um, but I tell you what, the uh, the Harris kid came in there and it was just phenomenal. I mean, he looked like a big leaguer. I'm looking at the scouting report and everything it said about him just didn't match. You know, it said our scouting report had 90-93 and that guy's throwing 97 and throws 101 on one pitch. You know, I mean, we just couldn't get our barrels in, in spot. And uh, the scouting report Mort mentioned that he struggled to, to locate pitches. He, he located everything against us. So, you know, hats off to him. I, I really felt like we were going to get in the middle of the game and create some things. And the Harris kid just stopped us from being – from creating any kind of momentum offensively. Still uh, just cool important. In the eighth inning where you came out, they threw it in a pinch hitter, and Kendall gets a standing ovation for staying in the game. I mean, it, just, it seemed like he wanted the ball, the fans wanted to the ball, and you wanted to have it at the ball. Yeah, you know, and Butch, obviously, if he's going to – if he tells me, hey, coach, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm tired, which is fine. You know I mean? Right. But, I, you know, it's been four years, and Kendall's never said that ever. He, he's <laughs> never tired. But um, – yeah, I, I, they, we weren't going to take him out of the ball game there. What we were going to do is just talk about the next guy up and, and situationally how we're going to handle it. And of course, Slaughter's all over that. You know, he can tell you exactly what the what the guy's done at every previous, you know, swing. And um, so I, I think we had a really good chemistry going there today. And you know, with 18 ground ball outs, you you, you, they, you create some serious movement with your fastball. And that's the thing Mitch kept saying uh, down the stretch. He's like. Hey, he doesn't have as much velocity, but he's got more sync than he did at the beginning of the game. And those, you know, turning those double plays was just just huge. And I tell you what, Coach Mingione, they, they ran a hit and run, and Coach Mingione moves Frazier two steps to his, you know, his glove hand side and put him right where that ball was. Otherwise, we probably just get one out there. But instead, we turn a double play on a hit and run, which you know you got to be in a perfect spot, and the ball's got to be, you know hit right on the nose and that's exactly what happened so I think you know we had a pretty good plan we had guys in the right spot and, and Kendall just executed the plan these first two games scoring early that's obviously something you, know, you haven't always done that's got to be an important day. yeah you know it really takes the pressure off when you, when, you, when you score runs early and it puts you in the eight, you know behind the eight ball a little bit when you, you, the other team scores on you early and, and that's something that we've gone through a little bit but again Kendall just put our whole club you know the first inning I, mean, I think it's a nine pitch inning and it's just you know one two three and you know, they're, they're, you know they're, the meat of their order is a is very good. I mean, those guys take great swings, and they're, they're tough to deal with. But I, I thought Kendall did a great job of just creating enough movement to get, get guys out. You know, and they're, to credit them, they, they hit some balls very, very hard today that were outs, and sometimes that's just how it works. Thoughts on the Mars pitcher? Yeah, you know, we're going to roll Lingren into the pen, and we're going to ask him to get loose, and, and we're going to see where we go from there. If he feels any discomfort, then we're going to go in a different direction. Uh, but if he feels like he wants the ball and he feels very comfortable, we're going to let him go and start the ball. So this will be kind of a game time decision. Yeah, it'll be a game time, but, you know, we'll put Lindgren out there and and, uh, and see how he feels. If, if he feels any discomfort at all or if he feels yeah. like it's just not happening, we'll go in another direction just, just to give him a little more time to get ready. How about Slaughter the last two days behind the plate? I know that Ammo did a good job last weekend, but just having him back there again has just got to be a comfort level. Yeah, he's done a tremendous job. He's a great leader, but Ammo's done a phenomenal job as well. We're really fortunate. We have two senior catchers who have done a heck of a job for us. And, uh, you know, what's the amazing thing about Slaughter to me, I mean, really, he spent five days doing nothing. I mean, he had to build back up and was really weak. I mean, I'm, I'm visiting him in the hospital room, and I mean, he was sick really sick, like no color in his face type sick. So to, to come back just a week later and do what he's doing, I, it's it's a real credit to who he is and, and what his focus level is. If Jacob doesn't feel right or look right, you've got other choices. We, we do have other choices. It could be a Ross Mitchell. It could be a Bracewell again. Uh, it won't be Wood, Woodruff because right. we probably are going to start him on Tuesday. But um, yeah, we'll look at all the options and see who uh, matches up the best. I know it's not the typical one-two in an SEC rotation, but the least point around and Kendall Graham seem to be 
Yeah, I think Luis, especially in our ballpark, really matches up well. You know, he's had a couple of the first inning uh, jitters or, or whatever, what have you, but I think, uh, you know, he, he's just done a great job. He really has. And he, he just, the, the one thing you're going to get out of him every time is an unbelievable competitor. It's hard to run on him. It's hard to bunt on him. It's the same thing with Kendall. You know, if you're trying to generate something, those guys just they don't allow the little small ball things to happen because they're, they're, they're so good in that area.